Hi everyone. Today we're going to show you a quick tip on how to connect Agilent GPIB instruments in a National Instruments LabVIEW environment using the Agilent 82357B USB GPIB converter. This tip also applies for all the other Agilent GPIB connectivity products. Now the first thing you need to do is to install NIVISA in your PC. There should be a shortcut to the Measurement and Automation Explorer on your desktop. Next, install the Agilent IO Library Suites. Slot the IO Library's installation CD into your disk drive and follow the instructions on the screen. Note that I'm installing IO Libraries 15.1, which is the latest version. Click Next. Accept the license agreement. Select Custom Setup. And make sure that this box is unchecked as this will enable the side-by-side -side mode and install Agilent Visa as the secondary Visa. Click Next, Next, and you're done. Now that you have installed both NI Visa and Agilent IO libraries, you are ready to install your Agilent USB GPIB converter. Go ahead and launch the Agilent Connection Expert, and the following browser will appear. Just a quick note here. Notice that the Agilent Visa is indeed installed as the secondary Visa. Coming back to the converter, as indicated here, this is not installed on your PC. Just go ahead and plug the USB end of the converter into the USB slot of your PC. Wait for a short while and the PC will automatically detect the device. And now your converter is installed in your PC and ready to be used. Just to make sure that your USB GPIB converter is installed properly, I've connected a GPIB instrument using the converter. And in this case, it's an Agilent E3640A DC power supply. Just power on the instrument and click Refresh All. The Agilent Connection Expert will automatically detect any connected instrument, and the information will be displayed on your browser. The next thing that you will need to do is to enable the NI Visa Passport Editor in NI Max to work with Agilent hardware. Launch the NI Browser, go to Tools, NI Visa, and Visa Options. Click on Passports, and as you can see here, by default, the file nivisa.tulip.dll is not checked. Go ahead and check the box, click Save. Close the browser and restart. And once you restart your browser, you should be able to see your instrument listed under Devices and Interfaces as Miscellaneous Visa Resources. The last thing that you need to do is to check and make sure that the NI488.2 is enabled in Agilent Connection Expert. Go back to the Agilent Browser, go to Tools, select Agilent 488, and as you can see here, the box is checked which will enable Agilent GPIB cards for 488 programs. Just click OK, and once this is done, you are now ready to use any Agilent GPIB and instrument control products in a nice lab view environment. Detailed information on this tip and more can be found in our application note, downloadable from the What's New section of our website at www.agilent.com slash find slash io or slash gpib. Also, find out today how you can get a free GPIB cable with any purchase. Thank you.